being a police officer or a firefighter is considered to be one of the most dangerous jobs. Having to constantly deal with life and death situations can wear them out quickly mentally. That Ziji has established the Ziji Police and Firefighters Families Association to help support police officers, firefighters, and their families. As its members are mostly retirees from either professions or families of fallen officers or firefighters, they can easily get through to those they're helping. <laughs> Whenever the season changes and I have to organize our clothes, sometimes I see E. Ray's articles. Or when I see things that belong to him, I will be reminded of him, which makes me feel hollow and cold inside. <laughs> Through a heartwarming embrace, much can be said without words. On the day of interview, Ziji volunteers gather at the Chen's home in Jiayi. Ziji's brothers and sisters were a great help. Thanks to them, we were able to slowly cope with our loss. We're truly grateful. After working hard on rehabilitating her mind, Yang can finally talk about the death of her son. In July of 2013, the couple's youngest son, Chen Yi Rei, who was a firefighter, perished while on duty. Leaning on his cane and limping, he climbed slowly up the stairs to the second floor of Ban Chao Funeral Home to offer his condolences. We were truly moved. Really, such heartfelt sincerity just can't be faked. The man that has touched Yang Jinfeng was Yang Qilin, a member of Ziji Police Association. At the time, he was recovering from a stroke. But in spite of his condition, he still came to the memorial service. The same tragedy that befell our family also happened to them as well. So I came knowing fully what they are going through, which helped pass on my feelings to them. A retired airport police officer, Yang Qilin, and his wife, Sun Lianjin, also lost their child years ago. After coming to terms with their loss, the couple joined the association to support families of police officers and firefighters. It was really difficult because for me, it was as if I had to relive through that period of my life. It was as if I was back to where I started again. I probably helped console some 30 families. Some of these families have really become a part of my family to this day. As he lives in Taipei, so we cannot visit him as often. Now that he has returned to Jiayi for a visit, since he's like my own big brother, when the big brother comes home, we surely want to meet up with him. Though the Chen's have lost their son, they have received plenty of familial love. This is why the Cixi Police Association was established. On February 2nd of 1995, the third day of Chinese New Year holiday, a major gas explosion occurred in Banqiao, damaging some 100 homes and leaving many residents homeless. At the site of gas explosion, right outside of police lines, a group of volunteers clad in blue and white uniform were quickly preparing hot meals, which caught the attention of the then police captain Wang Anbang. He wondered who the volunteers were and why they were there as early as the police. Because of the accident, Taiwan's police force began to take notice of Ziji's association. Actually, back in 1994, Ziji volunteer Wong Qianhui, Zhuang Wenjian, Si Jin, and several others came together to establish the Ziji Police and Firefighters Families Association. For 22 years, its members have been supporting the country's police and firefighters. I was a policeman for about 27 years, so I know full well where a police's stress comes from and how an officer should adjust him or herself to better cope with all sorts of problems at work. So that's what I've been doing mostly. Police and firefighters are often overwhelmed at work 
and thus when pushed beyond their limit, many often opt to commit suicide. When notified of such deaths, Wang Qianhui often blames herself for not being able to do more. I kneeled down beside him and apologized for not getting through to him in time before he pulled the trigger. I said, sorry for not being there in time to hear you out. Personally, I think Ziji's association takes on a supportive role while providing counseling for officers who need it. To be able to serve such a role is a great help to our officers, of course. Police and firefighters are both among the top 10 most dangerous jobs. But thanks to the support of Cixi Police Association, they now have someone to lean on and confide in. Though the volunteers may not be professional counselors, they are like family members who will always be there.